Partograph is a very important tool for the management of labor. It is a graphical record of the progress of labor with relevant details of mother and fetus. It can detect abnormal labor. It can indicate when augmentation of labor is needed and it can recognize cephalopelvic disproportion before the labor becomes obstructed. All the key data during the labor is plotted on y-axis against time on x-axis. The components of the partograph are patient identification and general details, fetal record, progress of labor and maternal condition. The general details include name, gravida, para, age, hospital number, date of admission, time of admission and the time of rupture of membranes. The fetal record contains fetal heart rate, normally it is between 120 to 160 per minute. Fetal membranes are recorded as I for intact and R for ruptured. The nature of liquor is recorded as C for clear, M for meconium stained, A for absent and BS for blood stained. Molding means the shaping of the fetal head to the size and shape of the birth canal. As the baby's skull is squeezed through the birth canal, its shape changes but too much molding can damage the baby's brain and hence you record the a grade of molding and that can be recorded as zero if the bones are separated and the sutures can be easily felt plus one if the bones are just touching each other plus two if the bones are overlapping but can be reduced plus three if the bones are severely overlapping and irreducible the next component which is the progress of labor is measured as a cervical effacement and dilation descent of fetal head and duration frequency and strength of the uterine contractions in the part of the graph which records the uh, cervix there are two parallel lines drawn one is the alert line and another the action line the alert line is drawn from 3 to 10 centimeters but in some graphs it may start from 4 centimeters the slope of the line is adjusted in such a way that it represents the rate of dilation of cervix at 1 centimeter per hour the action line is drawn 4 hours to the right and parallel to the alert line. If during the labor, the graph crosses the alert line, it may be considered as a warning and cautious monitoring is needed. When the graph crosses the action line, the patient has to be referred to higher centers or a decision must be made about the cause of slow progress of the labor and appropriate action should be immediately taken. The descent is assessed by abdominal palpation it is recorded as a circle O at every vaginal examination. The figure here shows the various palpatory findings that one may get to observe using this method. This method is known as Crichton's method. In the last component, which is the maternal condition, you record the oxytocin regime used, drugs and IV fluids that are administered, pulse, BP and temperature of the mother. You record urine volume and urinary concentration of acetone and protein. So how does recording all these findings help? Recording a partograph increases the quality of all the observations on mother and fetus during the labor. All the necessary info are combined in a single sheet. So whenever you need it, you just need to refer to the partograph. Repeated recordings are avoided. And thus, the data is orderly, accurate, simple and short. The partograph serves as an early warning system and it also assists in early decision on transfer, augmentation and termination of labor. So that's partograph. If you like this video, support me on Patreon. It would help me serve you better.